anger, frustration, excitement, lust. We feel them every day and they change very often. But what are emotions and how is it possible that they change our behavior? Interested? Let's find out! Welcome back! This is Sebastian Antonowicz and on my 5-minute psychology channel I talk about psychology in general, I talk about well-being and education. Today let's talk about emotions. They have been studied by people throughout centuries. More than that, I'm sure, even old philosophers, they wondered what emotions were. But nowadays, psychology, medicine, sociology, all of these sciences are interested in studying emotions. Nowadays, we are able to say much more about them than, for example, 100 years ago. Because nowadays, we have MRI and computer tomography scanning. We are able to look into the brain exactly and to check what's going on when we feel particular emotions. But first things first. If you have not done it yet, please make sure to subscribe to my channel to get all the latest videos and get some more information about psychology. And now let's talk about some basics. To answer the question what emotions are, the first thing that comes to my mind is to say that they are biologically conditioned reactions. Reactions to stimuli, to external stimuli. For example, when someone very attractive kisses you on the cheek, you will probably feel something really pleasant. But if something terrible happens to you, like for example, a car hits you, you are going to feel probably all sorts of negative emotions. And of course, emotions are also biological reactions to internal stimuli. In other words, you can feel something only because of your thinking. Another question that my clients and my students ask me very often is why do we have emotions in the first place? And of course there are plenty of possible explanations of that, but I have my favorite. According to which we feel particular emotions nowadays because historically they allowed us as a species to survive. For example, we like eating sweet things, we feel happy when we do that. For a reason, historically we were able to survive the winter because we had access to some sweet honey and dried fruits. Why is it so that so many people are scared of the dark? Because thousands and thousands of years ago, human beings were much safer at daytime. At night, they could be eaten by predators or killed by your unfriendly neighbors. Another interesting fact about emotions is that they are linked to areas of our brain independent of our will. Which means that very often when you start feeling something, at the very beginning you can't get a hold of it, you can't take control over it at the very beginning. Because with time when your logical thinking switches on and takes control over emotions, then yes, then you are the master of your behavior. But not initially. At the very beginning it's very difficult to control your emotions. You may be wondering if emotions are universal. The answer to this question would be yes, absolutely. Most people feel emotions many times a day. Every minute we feel something. Of course, there are some patients suffering, for example, from alexithymia, and in such situations they are either not able to describe their emotions, to recognize them in others, or to feel them in the first place. But emotions are so popular not only amongst people, also animals are able to feel some more basic emotions. So if you're saying that your cat or your dog loves you, I'm going to say, yeah, sure, of course, they do and they miss you when you are gone. Emotions are a curious thing because they connect our mind and our body. And this relationship, this is a two-way street. Which means that when you start feeling an emotion, it will very quickly be reflected by your behavior and by some bodily sensations. And it works the other way around as well. So when something hurts in your body, then it can cause a lot of negative emotions. Also, when you touch something pleasant, it can cause some pleasant emotions. 
So what do these emotions do? Well, they motivate us to action and to cognition. For example, if you like learning about psychology, if you like being smart, and if you would like to be even smarter, you will keep coming back to 5 Minutes Psychology, you will make sure that you have already subscribed to this channel, you will watch each video, not only once, but many times, to get smarter and to get some more positive emotions out of it. Or I will give you a different example. If you are afraid of uh, dying to COVID, you will wear a proper mask in the proper way, covering your nose as well as your mouth, because you know that this will protect you from getting ill. Emotions are very important in our lives because they strengthen our interpersonal relationships and all sorts of interpersonal relationships. For example, if you love someone very much, you will probably want to spend as much time with this person as it's possible. You will think a lot of happy thoughts with this person and uh, probably you will want to make this person happy. On the other hand, if you respect very much a police officer or if you are afraid of a police officer, you will want to obey their orders immediately. So what these emotions do? They strengthen the relationship between you, the citizen, and the police officer, someone who is in power. Of course, it's very easy for emotions to get out of control. If you do want to be the master of your emotions, make sure to watch my video about emotional intelligence. You will find it quite easily on my channel. And let me know in the comments if you feel that your emotions are doing something good for you or something bad. And I'll see you next time.